you already have to tell me you sorted me a high car, I might just kiss you. Can do one better than that. Got one for sale. Some good neck, and it's within budget. All right. You're a lifesaver. <laughs> well, no, where's this amazing car, then? Uh, Bradford. You can pick up the hire car and drive up there, if you like. What now? Yeah, have you got something better to do? Well, I've got a session with a regular client. I can't just drop it last minute. Tomorrow? Well, it might be gone by tomorrow, mate. It's a really good deal. <laughs> hey, you still out here? I've got tons to do before we pick up Evan from hospital. We've got to get the place spotless. I don't want him getting an infection on the first day. I'm just, just saying hi to Mac. Hi. Hello. Great news about Evan. Yeah, thanks. Are you coming, please? I just really want to get this all done. Actually, um, Mac was just telling me about a deal that he's got on a really good car, so I was thinking about checking it out. It's only in Bradford. Today? Not happening. Look, it's a quick in and out, back before you know it. Oh, why can't I wait till tomorrow? Yeah, because it's in really good nick, and it's a decent price, it might be gone by tomorrow. Right, Mac? Sure, yep. In and out. I promise. I thought you had a PT client. Yeah, I do. OK, so we're not going to Bradford, then? No, no. Look, it's complicated, right? Catch you later, yeah? Yeah, sorry. I, I thought you were Billy in a hire car. We're supposed to be picking up Evan from the hospital today. He's coming home. Oh! <laughs> Dawn, that's amazing news. Yeah. <laughs> Although we've not got off to the best start. We were meant to be on the road half an hour ago. Billy's gone to get this car with Mac and he's not come back yet. Oh. Well, is there anything I can do? I mean, I'm meant to be meeting Kim for lunch. But I'm not really in the mood for her 101 suggestions as to how I can run my business any better. Can you magic Billy back, please? All out of magic, I'm sorry. <laughs> I can't believe he's done this. Today, of all days. Well, have you tried to phone him? Yeah, it's just going straight to voicemail. Oh, this is just not how I imagined it would be. We're already late. The house isn't clean enough. Hey, hey, look. I'm sure Billy's got some excuses why he's not here yet. He wouldn't miss this for the world. I just want it to go smoothly, you know? We've only got three weeks before he goes back for his consolidation phase. Consolidation phase? Sorry. I'm spending so much time around doctors, I'm starting to sound like one. It's basically another round of chemo, but more harsh. And these little breaks are the only time we have as a normal family. We won't have another one for a while. Why don't I give you a lift? What about Kim? Her constructive criticism can wait. This is far more important. All right, I'll get his car seat. And thank you. And wherever Billy is, he should thank you too. I could murder him. What happened to you? I need your help, mate. No, you need a doctor. No, no doctor, no hospital. Just get me inside. Sorry, I took so long. I was just checking his breathing was OK. Can't stop worrying about him. You don't have to explain. I get it. I made you a brew. Can't guarantee it's still hot, though. Anything I don't have to make myself is highly welcome. I don't know why he's sleeping so soundly here. Maybe it's your driving. Maybe he's happy to be in his own bed. What's with that face? I just don't want to mess up. At the hospital, everything is so organised. There's someone looking after him 24-7. They know exactly what meds to give, when, they know when he's sleeping right, when he's not. I don't want to drop the ball. Look, just one day at a time. Right, that's all you can do. Well, it would be nice to know that I could count on Billy. Hi. Are you 
you going to tell me what the hell happened? It's nothing. Right, let's try again. It's just a little boxing. Underground boxing or so. What? Well, the guy I was fighting was just a little enthusiastic and I fell on something sharp when he tried body slamming me. Wait, you fell on something? Yeah, it's no big deal. Oh, it's not a big deal. It's not that you've got a gaping hole in your side. How could you let this happen? Maybe I like living on the edge. Billy, this isn't a joke, man. You've got a sick kid at home. What if something happened to you? What am I saying? Of course something happened to no, you. Do you think I like doing this? Do you think I like taking risks like this? I am the only one who's working, so it's down to me to make sure that everyone is taken care of. Right, okay, fine. Did you at least win? Not enough to solve all our problems. Let's start. Just tell me this isn't going to happen again. OK, it's not, it's not always like this. This was an accident. <clears throat> whoa, 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 whoa. Just you hang tight. We, you're not OK. We need to get that stitched up, man. Uh, let me drive you to the hospital. Or, do you know what? I'll, I'll call Liam. No, no, no. Because you'll just be opening a huge can of worms. Look, these people. Dangerous. OK, well, then I'll call someone else, then. But you said he'd been boxing. If I'm going to treat you, I need to know everything. He was underground boxing for money. So much for keeping things quiet. Well, it was a pretty critical detail. Well, that's pretty deep. Massive chance of infection if it's not properly cleaned and sutured with the right equipment. In the right environment. I told you already. No hospitals. Are you going to help me or what? Give me a belt. Bite down on this. It's going to hurt. Done. Is he going to be all right? He'll live. Wouldn't rush back into the ring if I were you, though. One misplaced punch. Not even a hospital would be able to save you. Thanks. Keep an eye on it. Call me if anything changes. Yep, thank you. Thought you were a goner there, mate. Can't get rid of me that easy. Look, I respect why you're doing what you're doing. Well, is there any chance you can just leave it at that then? No. Because you heard what John said. One wrong punch and no one can save you. I can handle myself. OK, and what about Evan? These places aren't the cleanest, are they? You pick something up, you bring it home. Are you going to be able to live with yourself? Before you ask, I know I messed up, but I do have a good reason. What's happened to your face? Have you been jumped? <sighs> Boxer size. Boxer size? What happened to Bradford? In and out, back before I know it? Yeah, it was all a big faff. The guy, the guy said that some, someone had taken a car for a test drive and they were just taking forever to bring it back, so... Why didn't you call me? Because my phone had died and I didn't have my charger on me. Look, I didn't want to just come home with some bad news, so I thought I'd use the time to make a bit of money with the training. What, is, is this meant to make it all better? No. <sighs> hey, little man. Hey, yeah, welcome home. Missed you. Why don't you get a taxi back? No, Gabby took us. Dawn. Billy, I asked you to do one thing. Come home early so we could pick up our son from hospital and you couldn't even do that. No, I messed up. I'm sorry, but you're already worried about Evan and the kids. I didn't want you to have to worry about money as well. I get it. We need every penny. But our son is home now. And it's just you and me. We don't have any hospital staff on standby. 
I need to know I can count on you, Billy. <laughs> 